Hi, this is Brad Kuntz, Senior Consultant with IBIS. Today we just got a real quick screencast about setting up Outlook synchronization in Dynamics AX 2009. Uh, it seems like more customers that know about Dynamics AX CRM module in 2009, the more they seem to like it as their CRM solution. Uh, we found a few inquiries lately uh, about Dynamics AX 2009 integration with Microsoft Outlook. Uh, outgoing messages from Dynamics AX are stored in Outlook and lists of email addresses can be managed there as well. Uh, contacts in the CRM module has an Add to Outlook Contacts button on it. But without the proper setup you won't get very far. Uh, the following quick tips should get you started. First we want to confirm that the user's email is properly set up in AX. So we want to open up the Human Resources module, go over to Common Forms, go to Employee Details. Let's find, we logged in as System Administrator, so let's make sure that Administrator is correct. So all that's good, so we can get out of there. Now let's go to the CRM module excuse me, go to the CRM module go down to setup and we'll start the wizard the Microsoft Office Outlook setup wizard we see here that the employee that's that we're talking about is the administrator uh, this is where we would tell Dynamics which folders to use in this case the Microsoft Outlook contact folder is blank so let's select that and what it's going to do is it's going to find your Microsoft Outlook personal folders list and that way you can make sure that all those are correct. Sometimes people will have uh, multiple calendars or they'll have multiple contact lists and this enables you to do that. So we're going to go to next, we're going to go to finish Okay, we should be set up. So let's go to let's go to contacts in the CRM area. I want to find a contact here that I am pretty sure is not in the Outlook contacts. So let's go to Dan Park. We will add to Outlook contacts as one contact added to the My Contacts for synchronization. So it is in the queue. It is waiting to be synchronized back to the CRM area, go to periodic, down here Microsoft Office Outlook synchronization. So we will go to synchronize, it's going to ask which databases we want to sync, we want to do contacts, task, appointments, we can keep those checked. Uh, I don't believe uh, right now with this data that we've got any task or appointments that we've asked to be synchronized, but I could be wrong. Uh, but what we're most concerned about right now is synchronizing the contact, so we'll say OK. Number of contacts synchronized one, no tasks, no appointments found. Okay, so we'll close that. So now we want to go into our Outlook and we want to make sure that it is there. So let's scroll down. And we will see that Dan Park was the one that we synchronized, so it's correct. Another question we get is, okay, how about the other way? Say I've got some um, some contacts in Microsoft Outlook that need to come over into Dynamics, uh, and that's easy as well. Uh, I've added this uh, person, Eric Eggroll. We're going to go into back into Dynamics AX. Go, we're still in the CRM area. We'll go to my contacts. And these are the contacts that I currently have in Dynamics. We're going to want to add contacts. We want to add contacts from Microsoft Office Outlook. We see that there's one person uh, who is not in both places, so we want to make sure that we associate him with uh, an organization. We'll select all and we will create. And we can see down here that Eric is 
in our dynamics contacts now. Obviously that's a very simple example. Uh, for a more complex example, let's look at the setup and let's look at the dynamics to office outlook mapping. This is the area where we can tell dynamics what information we want to be shared between dynamics and outlook. For example, anniversary. Do we want full synchronization to go both ways? Do we want none? Do we want dynamics to Outlook? Or do we want Outlook to dynamics? And of course here we can look at all the fields that are available inside the contacts. This is also true with tasks and appointments. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. B. Kuntz at ibisinc.com. Have a great day.